Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mokalover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing a very cool submod in Old World Blue. So, uh, let's see some custom game rules. I'm going to leave it on Historical AI just because it's been a long time since I've actually played with Historical AI. But yes, we are playing with New Vegas and here are the mods. Uh, player of the Peace Conferences, State Transfer Tool Mod, Colored Buttons, Colored Events, Old World Blues, and most importantly, a mod that I'm very, very excited for is the Courier 6 submod, which allows us to have a further left side of the branch, or focus tree branch, from Old Authority, in which we can either do Beware the Wrath of Kaisar and join Kaisar's Legion using New Vegas, do Ace in the Hole, or Don't Tread on the Bear, in which we eventually can either choose, uh, you know, going with Kaisar, core some stuff. We can re-manifest Destiny, which I, which is the path I'm going to take in this campaign, because we become New America, or we could eventually choose Run for President and become the NCR, quite literally. Oh, and let's do our first focus. I'm very excited for this mod, to be honest with you. I'm really, really excited. So, Judgment Day. In 2065, House predicted that a nuclear exchange between the U.S. and China would take place within the next 15 years, and decided to put all of his resources into protecting his home city of Las Vegas. He had his own hotel, the Lucky 38 Casino, fitted with radar jamming systems, missile arrays, a defense a laser defense network, and life support systems. Oh, I love it. Oh, I, like I said, I'm really excited for this submod. Uh, for a while, it was not updated to the current Hoi 4 patches, but at the time of this recording, it is, and I'm excited. Uh, research speed, reinforce rate, all, you know, the normal stuff. We'll do work as needed because we're going to lose a little bit of manpower where we are going. Raise up speed, start building some civilian factories because we love civilian factories. Let's do that, do that, do that. We're not going to use... Well, we're going to use some infantry, maybe. But we're going to use these Securitrons. Let's see, it has... One, two, three, four, and four heavy robots and light robots. And they already have logistics? Man! That's awesome! I really like that. They already pre-come with uh, logistics. Cool. Yeah, I'll throw three on there. We're going to put stuff on there, too. But we're going to need some support robots as well. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you. Let's let Titan go on first. And let us grab a good general. Oh, charming insignia. Secure Atron AI, intelligent, strong. Uh, can I please have. Hold on. Thank you. Cool. And you know what? Let's be special. I never changed this. Uh, what do we want here? Let's give him. He's A. He's Mr. A. The Third Army? Well. What? Hmm. Oh, we have the Great War. There was only one ever constant in Vegas, and it was change. I was almost fully prepared to prevent the apocalypse from touching my desert jewel, but without the platinum chip, I couldn't stop every missile. I see I prioritized protecting the suburbs in the few seconds I had to spare, or my laser defenses targeted missiles headed for military industry. I would like this, but we're going to go with prioritizing suburbs. I love the suburbs. Now, incomplete OS. Following the valiant defense of New Vegas, House was thrown into a violent coma, and the majority of his data and robots found themselves corrupted and, in and inoperable for the following decades, silent protectors incapable of movement or thought. When House returned to consciousness, he had choices to make. Did he dare attempt to salvage his more advanced OS, or did he simply fall back on a stable version? That is a very good question. Right now, we currently get, well, we have 1.87 thousand manpower, and we get 1.3 political power date, but not too bad. Without the platinum chip, though, I couldn't upgrade my security trons or my defenses. Numerous power cuts, rampant data corruption, and a coma were the results of my failure. I was faced with a painful choice, reusing an older and very stable version of my pre-war OS, or operating system, or attempting to salvage and use an incomplete OS, which was designed to be more capable of addressing voice and threats. Unstable OS, I don't like the... the the hurt, the, the hurt, the penalty to organization and defense, especially for robots, since they're not super spectacular in defense already. So I'm going to go with I reinstalled a much older and stable version of my OS for quite a bit more organization and research speed. Lovely. And three families. House hopes to rebuild the world, and to do so, he has started by rebuilding his beloved Vegas. He begins with the three great casinos that once rivaled his own Lucky 38, going out to find groups suitable for such establishments, those who can be easily controlled and bring Vegas the moxie it's going to need in the future. Good, and I will let you know, there's going to be a lot of reading in the beginning, in this very first episode. Uh, it, it is just what it is, so it's disabled backstory decisions. And three families before the Great War, Las Vegas was a city of dreams where fortunes were won and lost in an instant. To recapture that feeling and reap the profits, to draw a crowd from across the wasteland with bright neon lights, I need to reopen the casinos, and they needed families to run them. Reopening Gamora is next, and now we should do New Vegas. The process of rebuilding Vegas didn't happen quickly. Between spending money hunting for his precious platinum chip and micromanaging the families of the Strip, House has found himself more than occupied. Despite this, he did the time and money to invest in Vegas itself, and here we go. My first priority in my quest to rebuild Vegas was to wrest control of the city back from the dregs who squatted in it for centuries. The outskirts could wait. The immediate area surrounding the Lucky 38, the coveted Vegas Strip. 
and was fiercely contested by two tribes. Both Slytherkin and the Great Khans had a focus on drugs, and their sheer business made them competitors and enemies. It was clear to me that I would have to choose one group over the other if I desired to unite the rest and claim the city for myself. Initial propositions to both groups came up lukewarm and with prideful Great Khans rejecting me outright, and Slytherkin dubious to my own intentions. Then, the fiercest fighting between them began, and I saw my opportunity. No doubt the tribe of my choosing would see reason after my Securitrons ejected the other from Vegas, permanently. I desired a criminal element within Vegas to grease palms and run my black market smoothly and properly, like the Mafia used to before the Atom. However, even if I save the Great Khans, I risk splitting them into two thanks to their stubborn Papa Khan. And as for Slow the Kin, while they might have seemed more agreeable than the Great Khans, they were all that much more slippery. Their envious eyes said it all, ultimately I made my choice. So, consequences be damned, I would have my Khanate. Slow the Kin would be incredibly dangerous, and that's why I like them so. So, before we take any decision, we must see what that does to Gamora. False cons give us much better just by War Goals times, which I like a lot. Fancy pickle halbas, which looks really cool, but bearing the hatchet. Or we do the Emeritus with Slow the Kin, which looks okay. Addition for sale, which looks pretty good for resist resistance targets and consumer goods factories, and get some arms workshops. I think the last time I played as New Vegas, I chose a false con, so I want to go with the Almertas this time. So, not the cons, but slow the kin. Cool. And we have another event very soon. And I do have a cup of decaf coffee here, just to keep us nice and warm. Vanilla decaf. But anyways, after dealing with the largest confrontation Vegas had seen in decades, I wielded my newfound influence to great effect. Following my display of power, many disenfranchised groups approached me for support, while others made known their opposition to my actions. For better or for worse, I was making a name for myself in the Mojave. Of all the groups that became known to me, two piqued my interest at the same time. The fiends and a group of people whose name is better left unsaid. The former of the two were vicious raiders, drug addicts, and utter savages. Their leader, Motor Runner, had a kind of criminal intelligence about him and had reigned supreme in Vegas' ruined southern portions for years. However, despite their reputation for violence, the latter group was just as abhorrent, if not more so. Cannibals, that's what they were, devourers of the human body's forbidden fruits. Ooh. They squatted in Vegas' peak of refinement, the Ultra Lux, and hid from the Mojave at large. I had a clear choice. Either I beat the cannibalism out of my neighbors, or had the fiends show them how delectable their own innards were. The choice was simple. So, fiends? Or uplifted the damned to become my white gloves? That looks pretty good. And that's with the Ultra Lux. Uh, we go down with the White Gloves. We get more po daily political power with Majori. Wealthy Contracts, or Contacts, which looks okay. Not really great. The Human Banquet looks really awesome. Or Abandoned Cannibalism. Or we do the Consigliere's, which I can't speak or say that word very, or pronounce that word very well, or speak right now. Even though this looks really good, I'm going to go with the White Gloves. I love the White Gloves. I think the White Gloves are very cool. Cool, and this is the final one that is about the casinos. After cleaning up the Ultra Lux, for better or for worse, I had one final casino to staff, the Tops. In its prime, the Tops was a place for the respectable middle-class working man. It did not offer carnal pleasures like its neighbor Gamora, nor were its drinks as expensive as cigars like in the Ultra Lux. It was a place where the stakes were low, the drinks were hard, and the stage was populated with class acts. My Vegas needed that, a place for common people. And to recreate that feeling of comfort, I needed a classy crew, thankfully. Vegas had no shortage of suave individuals looking to shortchange their fellow man. Two groups stuck out to me like among the rest, the boot riders and the kings. The former were a tribe of nomads who at first glance had nothing to do with pompadours and big band. However, an upstart among the ranks, Benny was looking to shake things up and modernize the group. On the other hand, although rambunctious and rowdy, the kings were already everything I needed and more. Their stubborn leader might have refused to bow his head once, but perhaps my offer wasn't good enough. It's time for Swing to make a comeback. Uh, swing, swing, swing. Hmm. Hmm, lose old world style, and the choice was simple. We do this, we lose political power, but we do this, we get more daily political power. I don't remember the last time I played Vegas. Uh, I think I might have chosen the Kings. I, I went with Benny, I think. Hold on, let's see. I definitely went with the Joker, I believe. All in, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, Nevada backed. I think I went this way. I did not do that. Every man king, I did definitely did not do that. I did not do that. I'm pretty sure I went with the family man. Uh, and I went with a chairman. I love getting more political power, but you know what? For funsies, I'm going to choose a king's just because I I don't think I chose them last time. So, now we only get 1.47, which is still pretty good. So, New Vegas. My New Vegas was slowly coming together despite my early awakening, but decisions remained. I could either focus my attention on creating a rich inner Vegas or and a poor free side, or I could attempt to include all of Vegas into my grand vision. Inner Vegas or improving outer Vegas would bolster public support. I'm going to go with Inner Vegas just because we get more factories. I could do this stuff, which would actually be very good to do right now, but I'm going to go this way. 
Sunnyvale Expedition. Two centuries ago, my platinum ship was lost in Sunnyvale during the Great War. It would cost me greatly, but I must hire some scavengers to find it as soon as possible. And which, the bonus to this event, I'm not going to spoil it yet, is actually very, very good. Especially because, well, I don't want to spoil it, but it's very good to what I like to do. Let's see, 51, 47. Uh, we want to get more political power so that I can get to a well-equipped army as fast as possible. we got some economic advisors. Well, not that many. Hmm. And over here, we have cultural advisors. New Mr. New Vegas, which looks pretty good. Uh, organized agriculture. Let's grab the next one. And, ooh, Olympus Tribe is gone. We also can get Michael Angelo. Faster civilian construction speed and stability. The king looks not too bad. 10% more construction speed is always nice. Benny... Well, we can't choose Benny because we chose the Kings. And we have Majori because we need to complete that, but we get more daily political power, which is going to be extremely important for me. Let's not do that yet. Over here, we are going to grab... Automated Warfare. Let's do that. That'll be nice. Cool. And we are almost there. And I could grab some more Army XP, or, you know, daily Army XP, but eh, I want to build up as fast as possible in this campaign. Build, build, build. Thank you. Now we have a total of 12 civilian factories. It could be more, but whatever. Once we build, 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 there's probably not going to be too many problems. If we get enough political power, once we take over the Fiends in Vault 3, we might have that event to Core Vault 3. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we can, but we'll see what happens. Should be a lot of fun. And, of course, Kaiser's killing off Twisted Hairs. And let's have a sip of some vanilla coffee. So, from the expedition. Finally, after all these years... The platinum chip was found by my hired scavengers in Sunnyvale. In order to reach Vegas without delay, I will contract the Mojave Express to deliver multiple packages with multiple carriers to Vegas, with only one carrying the platinum chip. The rest will carry dummy packages to throw off any wasteland miscreants. I will assign Victor the Securitron to place the order at the Mojave Express office in Prim and ensure the courier with my chip arrives safely. Look at that. Plus 25% political power and plus 25% construction speed. That is a lot, but the courier six. The courier carrying the platinum chip, Courier 6, just left Prim and is on his way to Vegas at this very moment. Hopefully he doesn't run into any complications during delivery. Man, that would be uh, pretty bad if he ran into complications. Let's hope he doesn't. We get two political power today. Holy cow, that is not broken whatsoever. Even we get two political power as we're doing a focus. That is just, mm, that that makes me very warm on the inside. Very warm. I love my political power. Uh, the domino effect, I love it so much. And please, oh, we're almost, oh, nice, very nice. Keep building up, guys, you're doing a great job. We do need some more robots. We do have a little surplus of infantry equipment, which is fine. We're only going to keep one on there. We are going to need some more electricity, though. Mm, we'll build up, you know, let's build up this. Ooh, uh, followers of the Apocalypse. Ah, uh, screw it, we'll just do that. You know what, what if we lower that by one? We did that. There you go. We could use some energy. And we have 100 more. Uh, you can have that. You can have some scrap. We don't... Do we need scrap? Eh. we got enough for now. Let's grab some more daily army XP gain. Uh, we want Briscoe or Ridzik. Okay, that's conventional warfare. We're not going to go with that, so we're going to go with this guy. Give me more daily army XP. That'll come in handy. Uh, we have muscle descent. We have work as needed, which is nice. Let's go and grab the next one because we can. And here we're going to choose this one, Resistor, just so that we can keep pushing ahead with research speed. Over here, we can choose subroutine beta. Not bad. Subroutine alpha, gamma. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. I like the defense and recovery rate. Arm politeness. I love that. So he lost damage to garrisons. Motor runner. Uh, we could have chosen him for... Yeah, he's okay. False con. Just by world goes down. Looks really good, but whatever. Cool. Mm -hmm. Vehicles. Uh, we're probably going to need... We might need some of that. Maybe crowd controls. Militia is great, but crowd con control, infantry armor is just so tasty. I love it so much. Oh, we need basic laser weaponry. We might get we might get power armor eventually. We'll see what happens. And is there anything I can do here early on? No, it does not look like I can. We're doing that. Uh, naval warfare, probably not. Let's get some gliders because we can. Five research slots. <sighs> just like coffee, it warms my heart and my body, but mostly my heart. So ain't that a kick in the head? The courier carrying the platinum chip, courier six, was ambushed and shot in the head in Good Springs by a third party. But miraculously, Victor dug out the courier out of his own grave that very same night and brought him to Doc Mitchell, where he shortly recovered. Look at that. The courier who cheated death. Plus 10%. God dang. They went that away. Have Victor keep tabs on the courier on his travels. Yes. In which I will probably soon actually do the Ultra Lux and go down here. Just so we can get major so we can get even more political power. That's broken, man. That's completely broken. Uh, but hey, you know what? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Should we do the Human Banquet? 
Or should we abandon cannibalism? What do you think would be more fitting for the for our campaign? The human banquet or abandon cannibalism? Hmm. I'm really open to either one. I'm kind of feeling this way just so we get a little bit more attack, but I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Cool. Now we can grab some more stuff here. Military staff. Reserved AI. I like it when the robots get harder, which sounds really weird. Oh, but we get more soft attack. I love the soft attack. Planning speed. That's okay. Uh, sensitive artist. We are building that stuff up now. Oh, we do have th all three slots. Uh, oh, what do we have here? Robco? Nice. I love it. Hmm, infrastructure, civilian. Uh, I think this is just... Oh, wait, Happy Ca Happy Trails Caravan. I don't think I've seen that one before. Happy Trails. I love that. Let's go and get with this just because we can just build as fast as possible. We are an industrial commercial entity here. And I love it. Play gate and divert supplies. Now we good, man. Very nice. Very nice. And maybe we get uh, one of you guys up here. Only cost three. PDQ. Oh, we get less attack and less defense? Oh, why? Why would I hire you? Um, if that's the case, Aqua Boy. I don't think we really need an Aqua Boy if we are, um, you know, robots. Infantry, tanks, well, are we, we're technically considered tanks. I mean, it's under the armored vehicles, so this might not be smart. But let's do it anyways. Heavyweight. Whatever. Cool. That's it. And the followers establish themselves. I'm not going to read that because this happens every single time, so I don't, I'm don't. i really not interested in what they have to say. Almost two political power day. Almost. Almost. Crowd control. I love crowd control. And you know what? Let's go ahead and... You know what? I always forget this every single game. I'm going to get saws early. Just because I always forget to research that stuff. Always. Gliders. Cool. Grab flight. Because I love flight. So they went that away. So, apparently the courier has, has amnesia, and no doubt a result of his injury, and is making his way through the Mojave in pursuit of his killer. Along the way, he discovered the man who has the package, which is located somewhere in Vegas. Luckily for me, that's exactly where I need him. Unfortunately, Victor could not make out who shot at him, but I'll make sure he nudges the courier in the right direction. More t Oh, the boogeyman. The courier breathes through the Mojave like a ghost. I like the speed. The courier utilizes his finesse and cutting to reach Vegas. I like that, because that could help our robots, but you know what? The courier unleashes wrath along the way. Ah, oh, I mean, he just went boom, boom. Uh, we could do this. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. I really want to, but I want to get more political power first. Be Never mind. I Let's just do this. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. The courier arrives at the strip and deals with a killer in the Tops Casino. I wonder who it is. Who is it? The Red Breakers declare war on the... Co Isn't usually the Brotherhood to take out the cause first? But okay. Okie dokie, then. The band is joined the Phantasmal Cartel. Ah... Uh, Yes, we can start working on another electricity or power generator place. We need more energy, yes. Hmm. I love civilian construction speed. I'm trying to maximize that as much as possible. But stability, war support, and recruitable population, they sound so nice right now. Or just do this. There you go. Get a whole other factory for free, basically. Love it. Alright, so riders, human targeting firmware. Yep, target the humans, target them. And before I choose anything else, resistors. Cool. Alright, so, rioters. You're looking pretty good. We're gonna need some military police. Occupy territories. Please become rioters. Well, actually, you know, let's, let's leave them on militia for now, just because we're not making any infantry equipment. Or infantry armor. That'd be kind of nice. At least get one going. That'll save on manpower, because we don't have a ton. We have some. We are on the lowest conscription level, but, you know... War never changes. It is what it is. Cool. And we're going to get about five people every single month, which is, well, it's not a lot. It's not a lot, but that's okay with me. And uh, 12 days, it's not bad. And we'll have local workspaces. I love it. How long is it going to take for me? Let's get there. And uh, there they go. There they go. Cool. Militia. Infantry. You know what? I'm just going to say no to infantry this entire campaign. So, the courier arrived in the strip. And made his move. He confronted his killer in the Tops Casino and returned the favor. The assassin was a Legion of Frumentari. Oh, this is going to be extremely important. The murderer was an NCR Ranger. It doesn't matter. They're both responsible for this hell. Which is the path we want to take. This one. We went down here. So that we can get down to re-manifest destiny. Yeah, you know when it happens. Complete one followers. Yep, has a natural spirit. Ace in the hole. 
There you go. So, after killing the murderer in front of everyone, the leader of the top casino invited the courier to his room upstairs. There, he introduced the courier to Yes Man, a Securitron reprogrammed to always be agreeable. He details an entire plan to overthrow Mr. House by uploading Yes Man's neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe, and also mentions a meeting with the Strip's three families to discuss the future of Vegas. Ace in the hole, which grants... Oh, nice. Very cool. So now, we can get our little ace hole. Meeting with the three, three families. Uh, the King's Gambit... Uh, does, requires don't tread on the bear. We can't do that. Oh my papa! Gets oh, we get an annex world goal. Gets ripe rolls and Ruby Valley Refuge. Render under Kaiser. Uh, I want to do that, but I want to get to the Ultra Lux as fast as possible. The Ultra Lux is an establishment of incredible refinement that delicately conceals its operators, operators' more questionable tendencies. There are none who can contest the idea that it's the classiest place on the Strip. Oh man, I love the Strip. Let's see. Actually, so we have the fiends here, right? We have Vault 3, the Fiends. Do I get a war goal against them? Let's see, Valer, we need to do Ace in the Hole. The Sky Reavers in Grabber Territory, which would be nice. I do need to build up my facilities a little bit bigger. I need more divisions. Change in management. Three families coup d'etat. You and what army looks really nice. 20, oh my god, 20 divisions? Man, I should've taken this first. That's okay, we'll have time. Hidden Valley Treaty, King's Gambit, Valer. Secure the South. Ace, oh my gosh, look at that. Gains a core and annex. I'm telling you, I, I'm excited for this mod. Now, last time I played Old World Blues, I used Triplane Attackers, and I love them a lot, but I'm going to go with Bombers this time. Because even though Bombers are still a little glitched, as far as I know, I'm going to use them. I'm still going to use them. And just go and help out the settlements, because that's always nice to do. Medical te technology is only 10. we got plenty of political power. Uh, you know what? How much water do we have? We don't have a lot, so we might as well grab a little bit more for now. Look at the building slot. Since we're doing it anyways, we might as well spend that. Cool. Awesome. And since we're here, we must get some military police help. That'd be nice. Good, good, good. Man, I, I really like this mod. I, the sub mod. I love Old World Blues. As you can probably tell from my channel. If you're new here, I play Old World Blues pretty much once every day. Rarely twice. Sometimes mostly once a day and other mods. So... God, I love vanilla. Vanilla coffee, so good. Um, Ultra Lux. How long is it going to take for us to get down to here? Another 60 days. Eh, we want to spend political power now. Be able to designers. Majory. You know what? I'm going to go with Mr. V New Vegas. Probably light ships. Victoria Flyers. You might as well do that since we're building stuff anyways. Oh. You don't get any bonus to bombers. So it doesn't make any sense for me to go with bombers. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I'm going close air support again. Because there's literally no point to choose tactical bombers if I get bonuses to their ground attack and agility. So, it looks like I made the decision again to go with close air support. Because I love close air support. Ah. Uh. Ultra Lux, Smoke Signals, and let us do the White Glove Society. The White Glove Society has come a long way from the traditional cannibal roots with fancy masks and jazzy suits. They hope to make people forget what they once were by simply becoming something else entirely. Ah, this smart intellectual way of doing things, we'll put it like that. Look at all this. I love my political power. Almost two, almost two. Yeah, nice. So once this is done, we'll build up more factories. We'll probably, yeah, we'll get that war goal against these guys. How strong are these guys? Hopefully they won't be able to pierce my armor. They shouldn't be able to. But I do want to go to war as fast as possible. So we'll get Majory. We'll go do Ace in the Hole. I love Ace in the Hole. Vegas. Oh, he actually has a bonus to civilian factory speed. He's isolationist. The business night tycoon, Robert House. Ah, decode signals. Very good. Lovely. Let's get some encoded signals. Very good. Look at that army XP. It's looking nice. Looking very good. And man, it's taking forever to produce stuff. Come on, come on. The domino effect. Oh man, we're almost done. Nice. Hey, Legion declare we're on the hangdogs. Hopefully they can do something there about that. Hopefully they win. It's on historical, so they should win, right? They should win. The Vipers are gone. The Desert Rangers looking kind of thick. Now, on historical, I don't remember which way the Desert Rangers will go. Are they going to... Ranger Team Vipers. They might go with Snake Vargas, but I really don't remember. It's been so long since I actually played on Historical. And there's no mod comp here. Oh, the Troll Warren doing pretty well. Um, 
No mod comp, no Baja Blues or Baja California or Sweet Home California Train Mongrels. I love it. Eh, we already have a bonus. We might as well do that. And actually, help improve those guys. And we have the White Glove Society. Amazing. What is that? We need to do have major equal. Let's do Ace in the Hole. The courier meets with the three strip, three strip families to discuss the future of Vegas. Yes. Major. Look at that. 2.29. Almost 2.3 a day. That is... Hmm. Mm. Much love. Just just much love. That's all I gotta say. Just so much love. Our plane bomber will switch over to... Oh, there goes the road breakers. Uh, close air support after this, too. Nice. I love triplane attackers so much. So much political power. I love it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep saying that, but I just really love it. Cool. The next one we're going to grab, Cultural Advisor. I'm probably going to go with Mr. New Vegas. He's so beloved. It wouldn't make any sense for us to not get Mr. New Vegas. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, 50. Yeah, do that. There you go. Do two, and then build another one right there. Cool. Did, did that help with the energy? It did help with it by two. Not a whole bunch. Uh, you know what? We could trade away for one. There you go. It's not really worth it. But you know what? It could be worse. And we don't have too much of a penalty anymore. Our plane bombers, I'd love you, but... Not really worth it, man. I'm sorry. Multi-purpose equipment. Very good. Let's grab this. And do the next one. Even more energy cell gain per energy. Ace in the hole. All right, cool. Mr. New Vegas, I've got to grab that guy. It's just ever so slightly more recruitable population. Wow. Effective total manpower modified by to 63%. Well, we get a little bit more resistance target, more infrastructure construction speed. Research time for robotics, electronics, stability, war support, and that recruitable population factor, though, that looks like it really hurts. But we do get more daily political power, which is oh, so, so sweet. Healing powder. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking. This might just be a full wasteland conquest. But we'll see what happens. Quality. Less supply usage. More breakthrough. I like that. Hardness and armor. Or quantity. Hmm. I'm going to go with quality. I love quality robots. So, meeting with the three families. The courier arrived at the planned meeting between the three strip families. The topic of discussion was what to do about the NCR and Legion, and if Vegas should support either or rise up against them. The courier spoke and convinced them to go through with his own plan. The courier ordered the three, three families to mobilize and take the Lucky 38 by force. Once Mr. House was eliminated, the three families would establish an oligarchy with cur the courier as leader. They, of course, accept accepted the deal. I pff, Free political power and 12... D Jesus... 10, 10. So no one's any better than each other. Cool. Gamora thugs. You know what? I'm going to keep them like this for now. I wish I did not get rid of my other division, but whatever. Uh, you shall be led by a dude. By, by dude, I mean robot. Enduring Lucky. Oh, Lucky. I like that. Uh, there's no inspirational here. That sucks. Um, Life Giver might not be bad on this guy. Idiot Savant. Infantry attack. Division. Wait. So only infantry can use Bloody Mess? That doesn't seem really worth it. So go with Mysterious Stranger then. Uh, I'll let you guys uh, double up here as well. Do that. Thank you. Next up. Oh my goodness. Change in management. Valer. Um, let's do this one. Secure the south. So the NCR is encroaching on the Mojave through I-15. Securing our southern border will be essential in stalling their advance. We get free cores and annex war goals. Sign me up, man. Sign me up. Uh-huh. Let's do that. We get some free support equipment. Mm. Well, we don't really need some free support equipment right now. We could raise our construction. Huh. That might be worth it. Here, unpredictable a army experience game, which is okay. I'm gonna go with this. A more soft attack. I that I, I love I love soft attack. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The more thugs. Does anyone need anything? I mean, we've got a good stockpile of guns. It's not great, but it, it'll work for what we have. Our plane bombers, I can wait. Yeah, we're gonna... To get more military factors, we're just gonna conquest our way through here, probably. And build a few, of course. Build a few. Hmm. Flexible designs, and... More monthly population. And some fuel refinement. Cool. And let's grab some of this. And military high command... Politeness, damage your gear sense might be really good. Supply consumption goes down, reinforce rate. I love this one. Gamma. 
Yeah, we can't do that one. We can't do that one. Defense and recovery rate. Mm, ships. That stuff can wait over here. Benny. Kings. We went with the kings. Actually, oh. And I'm probably going to do, do that one. So, we're going to go ahead and grab Gamma. We'll get more, get more recovery rate and defense. And before we end the episode, I want to go to war first, at least. That's a little bit too ahead of time. That's a little bit too ahead of time. Uh, they're all a little bit ahead of time. That's okay with me. Good. We could use more stability. Hangdogs were finally annexed. Good job, Kaisar. <sighs> Can't wait till they kill each other off. Can't wait. Really just cannot wait. And it'll be about two weeks. We got two weeks left. Research is going on very nicely. And we'll get some triplane attackers. Yes, please. Sky Reavers, grab your territory. They're killing each other off. Let's get some planes as well. Hey, we got another robot. Love it. We got the A team here. Hmm. We need two more energy. Hmm. Vault City has joined the Nevada Pact. Okay, then. Secure the South. The next up we shall do. Oh, my papa. Annex War Girls. Let's do change in management. The courier assembles an army of soldiers from the three families to gather outside the Lucky. 38. The courier becomes a commanding officer. We get a thousand more manpower. I love it. Cool. Trade with the Mojave Chapter. Well, you know what? Go suck a fat one then, Mojave Chapter. I'm coming for you. Alright, we're marching straight on in. And what's going on? How many men have we lost? We've lost none. Versus roughly 300. And boom. The first of many people to fall, but that's where that's where we are going to end today's episode, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it, or enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe. If you're brand new, if you're also new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And let me know, guys, in the in for tomorrow's video. Should I go with cannibalism, or should we abandon it? Regardless, thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.